Hi, Amy with Experience the Quilt. We're gonna talk about rusting today. Have you ever rusted fabric? It is so much fun and it's so easy. This is a piece of rusted fabric. I think I used an old hammer head, like I found in the back of my acreage. And it, to me, it looks like a dragon. What do you think it looks like? Um, this is a really fun process to do. I have some other pieces here that I've cut up. This was like a bike chain and this was a i don't even know a cable i think my son found on the side of the road and there's some more bike chain and we're going to make those into a project later on for this project you need a spray bottle filled with 50 percent water and 50 percent vinegar regular white vinegar works fine you will need a tablespoon of regular salt a gallon of water and some rusty objects like nails or bike chains or whatever you find that's rusty metal objects and some plain white fabric or plain cream fabric. Whatever color choice you really want to rust will work. This is a PFD or prepared for dyeing fabric and it is great to be able to accept dye, accept paint. There's no starches or chemicals are in it that um, will stop from the uh, like the dye and the color attaching to it if that makes sense now when i did this one i did not use prepared for dyeing fabric and it still worked with the rusting i just know i now have this kind of fabric so we're going to try it today so i cut a small piece that will fit within this little drawer this is one of those little plastic drawers like you get at, at walmart or target or something and you totally can have a bigger piece of fabric and a bigger container. So I suggest that the bigger piece you want to do, like a whole yard at a time, which is possible, but it, it gets more cumbersome, you will want a larger container, like something you would put a blanket in or, or your kid's stuffed animals. So today's demonstration, we're using this cool little drawer. I also use this to store the things that I want to, that I have rusted, that I want to use in my drawer. So for future use, I can pull it out and it's ready to go. It doesn't take up a lot of extra space. So to, after you get your fabric laid down inside of the drawer, or the whatever container you're using you can you can crumple it and mush it up or you can keep it flat it's totally up to you then you get your metal objects that are rusted I have no clue what these things are my son found a whole baggie of them and like he collected all up inside the side of the road it looks like a bullet that's been smushed or something I have no idea but I think they'd be great make great polka dots so I'm gonna set them oh excuse me I'm going to spray my fabric first what you need is a bottle, spray bottle with 50% water and 50% vinegar. That's it. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to spray down my fabric really well and get it pretty damp because this is going to sit for a couple of days. And ooh, it's stinky now. I don't like the smell of vinegar. Now I'm going to take my objects, like these cool little round metal whatever they are, and I'm going to stick them on my fabric in just random ways because I'm going to make like a polka dot. I thought that would be fun when I found these. But you can totally use other things like a rusty nail. We probably all have these somewhere in our yard. I have lots of them. We do lots of construction projects outside and you know they get lost in the dirt and then they rust right up. There are so many fun things and like like I showed you you'll get all kinds of really cool designs from just your average bike chain. and. It, and you just, it's kind of like if you've ever dyed fabric, you just don't know what's gonna happen, like what it's gonna look like afterwards. So it's kind of a fun surprise and I love the outcome. So I'm now going to fold this other fabric over on top. You totally don't have to do this, but because I have it, I'm gonna take advantage of the other side of the metal object and get more fabric rusted at the same time. So I just gonna set that down and I'm gonna spray it some more. And I'm just really soaking it because I don't want this to dry out before tomorrow. So I'm soaking it pretty good. Now, you keep this on hand. You can cover this with like a saran wrap or you can put a lid on it. Um, I might set a cookie sheet on top just to kind of keep that moisture in there. Keep kids and dogs out of it so they don't lick it. It'd be kind of funny if they licked it. You might get a fun reaction. But um, you can... Just let this sit for a day and come back and check it. Or you can leave it for up to four days and then come back and check it. So that's what we're gonna do now and then we'll go to the next part of the process. 
Okay, here's the end of our results. This beautiful piece of rusted fabric. I let it sit in our little plastic drawer container for about a day and I kept checking on it to make sure that the fabric was still wet. If it was starting to dry out, which I left it under my heater so it started to dry out really fast, that was not the best idea. So I kept spraying with my vinegar and water solution and keeping it wet. You can also put a, like a plastic wrap over it to make sure it stays wetter or a lid. And I didn't do that and it still worked out great, but you can. Um, so this is the result. I love the way it made specific circles on it. I think that's really fun. This other side is the the top of the fabric where it was folded over the circles. So of course it didn't have as, as much definition. But I really like how it turned out. I think it's really fun. Um, these are examples of some other rusted fabrics that I did. There, are, It's a lighter cream fabric. Um, but I, I really like the look of it as well. This is a, a heavier prepared for dyeing fabric and this is a regular cream, um, like a broadcloth. And they both look kind of the same yellow after the rust has been on it. So I just appliqued some shattered circles on here and this will be um, a little block that will go in a quilt and it's ready to go. Oh, excuse me. You don't want the rust to keep going on this fabric. It will keep eating away and making a hole. So when it's done and it's to your liking, that's where you mix a tablespoon of salt to a gallon of water and you rinse it really well in that. And that salt will stop the rust from continuing to spread. Um, then you can go ahead and wash it in your washing machine if you want. This one I haven't washed yet. I just did it in the salt and water um, solution and it's great, ready to go. And then I can cut it up and use it however I want. I hope that you found this to be a really fun project. I hope you try it and send me some of your pictures and get your quilt on.